the second scene we did was a scene inside of the, the room and uh, boy, that was a scene where I'm sitting in my office. Again, we hadn't done the opening scene yet, but now we're inside my office, the OCB. And it's supposed to be, I'm sitting at a desk. And when I walked into the OCB at the very beginning, there was stuff everywhere, papers and, and uh, pipe holders with pipes in them and, and smoking pipes and, and there was paper upon paper and books and stuff. I mean, the set decoration was incredible and it looked like it had been lived in, you know, and it really looked, you know, it looked real, okay? But there was so much stuff. And I said, uh, I walked in, I go to the production center, or the art, dec art set designer, set decorator, and I say, take everything out. He goes, what? I said, take everything out. Um, everything? I said, everything. Uh, um, and then he says, I'll be right back. And he goes back, and he asks, and he comes back, and he goes, okay, uh, what do you want? I go, take everything out. Everything. I, I want nothing in here. He goes, you sure? I go, yeah. Okay. And they start. <laughs> they're taking out everything. Every, every cup, every book, every stacks of paper and all of the stuff all over the place, all over the main desk and coming in and the drawers and everything. Cleaned it out. It looked barren. Okay. And I said, just give me... <laughs> Thing, give me some aspirin and a little thing and put the aspirin right on the desk at the top of the table just put it there that's it and he goes aspirin okay aspirin boom and so I, I walk I'm sitting there at the table now at this desk and there's nothing in this room and the scene is that, and I'm sitting there and in walks Crockett for rehearsal and he opens the door and walks comes walking in and he said, we do the scene, you know, or found this, you know, this is how, uh, this is a, a, a stereotypical uh, hit by, you know, um, the, uh, I forgot the name of the uh, Cartagena group, all right, gang, the, you know, five, 25 caliber shots, five of them in the back of the head. This was a, a hit. And I said, you know, and I'm supposed to say some words to it, you know, and then. That was it, cut. And he hands me the folder. So he says, let's do one more rehearsal, please. And, and he walks out the door. And, and uh, we're in the OCB. I'd never been in there. So I'm looking around, and I shut the door. And then the director goes, OK, ready, action. And he comes in. Before he comes in, he throws the door open. And then he comes and walks. And then he walks in. And we do the scene again. Look, OK. Then he leaves. And so, you know, I, I shut the door and, and, and Don goes, hey, Eddie, just leave the door open. Because, you know, this whole place, we just walk in. I don't want to work with doors. I said, uh, Don, um, uh, talking story. Uh, I've never been here. In this episode, I come walking in. I have nothing here. I'm trying to find my bearings. I don't know who you are. I know you're my, you know, you're working, you're one of my detectives, and this is the OCB, and I understand the situation, but, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'm going to shut the door. You're going to come walking in. It's going to be a shut door in my office. You're not going to just be able to walk in. And he says, uh, Eddie, don't open this can of worms with me. I said, Don, I, this is not personal. This has nothing to do with you and me. It has everything to do with the situation in which we find ourselves. Just shut the door. I want the door shut. And he goes, oh, okay, we'll see about that. And he walks away, you know? And, I, and it rang from Telly Savelle this time. I said, oh, no, here we go. And so one hour goes through, two hours goes by, and we have the entire crew. And this was a very expensive show at that time, so an hour, two hours of not working on the set of this television program was Tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands. And, and so I'm saying, holy mackerel, here we go. First day, and we're at this level already. Jesus, Lord. And uh, I said, what, what did I do? I mean, I, you know, I'm talking to myself, and people are, are staying away from me. 
I mean, you know, they're staying, you know, all the crew and everybody's like, mm, nah, nah, just sitting around having, you know, talking. No one's even looking at me. And I'm sitting by myself, just sitting there and going, oh boy. And I didn't leave. I didn't go into my trailer and wait, you know. I'm just on the set. I'm kind of trying to keep my composure and stay focused on what it was that we were doing. A couple hours later, uh, uh, John Nicolella comes in. He was producing, and he says, uh, Eddie, anyway, we're trying to get this together, so, you know, it's hold tight. I said, you know, John, I'm, you know. He said, no, 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 no it's, it's, it's going to be okay. Thank you. And so finally, Don comes back on the set. He was very, 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 just completely didn't want to go where I was going at all. And I shut the door, and I sat back down, and... Now, action, he knocks on the door. But as soon as he knocked on the door, he shoves the door open, pop, pop, boom, and flings the door. It hits the uh, bookshelf or the uh, cabinet, file cabinet, and on it, the door was Venetian blinds, those real squeaky can <laughs> And he walks in and he throws the book on the table. He goes, That's, this is from the cartel, the Cartana group, man. This is how they work. And it's a, it's a hit with an attitude. Boom. And I pick up the thing. I gave him a quick look. I turn sideways a little bit, and I look at the thing. And he finishes his lines. And, uh, and, so, and I say, my lines. But I didn't look at him when I said my lines. And he walks out. And we played the scene that way. Tension was you could feel it, you could cut it with a knife. And then he whoosh, walks out. I said, okay, wow. I didn't look at him or Ricardo Tubbs for 10 episodes from that moment on. I started, every time they'd walk in, I wouldn't give them my eye. I wouldn't give them anything. I wouldn't pay any attention. It became like a running joke where, where I would stand against the wall. I would stand up and go against the wall and the directors would go, can you pick another wall because I can't fly that one. I said, fly, what are you gonna fly for? He goes, well, I wanna get the other side, I wanna get your face. I said, no, 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 just get my back. That's it, just shoot my back. And they go, okay, you know. And so they shot my back and for a long time they didn't know what I was really doing. And sure enough, I became like the, the Darth Vader it was really a negative character inside of this set, and people were writing fan, fan mails, get, kill that guy off, get rid of this lieutenant, I hate him, you know. And, but the guys could not dismiss me. They could not look at each other after talking. If they did look at each other, it was to say, you know, this guy's not even paying attention to us. I'm like, God, this guy, I can't, you know. So it would mean something else. And they didn't even know what I'd done. You know, neither Don or, or, or Michael, Philip Michael, knew what I had done. 